Hello everyone and welcome to my first reaction to season 10 of Supernatural. So just letting you guys know or reminding you guys, after this reaction goes out on YouTube, I will be taking a two week break. I know it's kind of like I'm giving you a little taste of my season 10 reactions of Supernatural and then after the break, I will fully get into the rest of the season. If for whatever reason you want to watch the next couple of reactions while I am on break, uh, there is a two week early access tier and a four week early access tier over on Patreon that uh, you can check out. Um, but other than that, <laughs> I am very interested to get into this premiere because given the Dean situation at the end of the last season, I, I, honestly, I feel like there's a lot of routes that the show could go uh, down and I'm quite curious to see what's gonna happen next. And yeah, without further ado, let's go. Whatever soul you had, whatever Boy Scout code you cuddled up to at night, it's all gone. Look at you. Okay. <laughs> Where is Crowley? Eat me. Where is eat me? <laughs> Little joke. One more time. And you're impossible to die. Oh! Oh my. No one knows. We won't answer. Make the call. We're under orders. Make. The call. Where's my brother? Yeah. Okay, Sam. Okay. <gasps> oh. Oh. I don't know that Sammy is going to do that. Oh, Castiel. Sam. I'm very worried about him, too. I think I'm about to found something. How are you oh, doing? Good. <laughs> <laughs> no! Don't cough. If this guy was possessed, that would make him the first... <laughs> first lead, the first anything we've seen in... <laughs> Sorry. You know what? Now that I'm looking at this more, I, I think I, uh, I think I jumped the gun here, buddy. Oh, okay. Sam, you said it was something. Yeah, uh, it, it's, it's not. I was wrong. Sorry. I can help. Yes. Sam, you can't blame what that demon did to your shoulder on, on me. You were out I'm of... I'm not, okay? I'm not blaming anything on you. What happened, happened. And... How are you, Sam? Good. Oh, I'm all right. I'm just tired. Be better when we get him back. After I kick his butt. Hmm. Oh. I miss him. Yeah. You think there's any chance? Any chance at all that Dean is still still even remotely Dean? <sighs> oh my. Who goes to a karaoke bar wow. and booze? What time is it? Daryl's gonna kill me if I'm late for my. Kind of the point of it is bad singing, right? I mean, no offense, Dean, but. You know. Damn. Best of three. Loses by the beer. Lots of beer. Girls seem nice. Wow. So damaged. See the old you falling for that? They really are just living oh, it up. Why are you doing this? You thing? need to calm down. Where were you? Stop it. Hey, is it Sam? Is there a problem? Are yeah, you mad? Go! You need to get away from here. Don't try and contact her. If I don't even think about her, you understand me? Damn. Castiel. Hannah. I'm 
sensing awkwardness. Oh, most of the angels who fell during the fall have returned to heaven. A few have not. Some out and out refuse. Rogues. Two of them have killed one of our own for only attempting to bring them back home. Who were they? Daniel and Adina. They must be found. They must be brought home and they must be punished for the sake of all. Oh, oh damn. damn. Okay. Wow. Strict. Yes. Um, okay. All right. Can I just say, and I don't know what's going to happen and how this plot line is going to pan out, but like, I don't necessarily blame you came up here to investigate Drew Neely's murder, Any of the angels right? that might be like, you know, that was, was a, a hot right? mess. It has been a hot mess for a second. Yeah, I don't know that I want to go back there. <laughs> that John Doe right there is the one you want to keep your eye on. Son of a bitch. Oh boy, Sam. You just can't accept that the queen is dead, can you? You just can't accept that the douche like you was the one who killed her. <laughs> See the knife? Yeah. That's intent right there. Now watch this. <laughs> Problem is, we don't know if this guy's a hero or a psychopath. That's the image that's getting uploaded to the wires. Oh boy, Sam. Oh boy, okay. That's dead. Is it him? Oh! Oh my word! Whoa! Well, okay. But, wow. Mm -hmm. I didn't know angels could get nauseous. I just need a moment. Oh. You're feeling well? Oh, yes. Like a million dollars. That's not true. It's my truth. Oh, okay. When you left, you're dying, Castiel. You need more grace. Metatron certainly could not have been brought to heal without your bravery. Or yours. You must take care of yourself, Castiel. Oh. And another angel should die so that I can be saved. Is this really that hard to understand? Oof. Yeah. I'm feeling better now. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Porn guy was an animal. Broke him out. I'm like, what? And he was like, what? oh. Say my name. Say my name. Wow. What a reenactment. There was a lot. <gasps> You're dead. Nope. Just using a dead man's phone. Yes. Took you long enough. Brother and I were beginning to wonder if he'd hit another dog. My brother is dead. Wow. Apparently. I don't know how you did this. What kind of black magic stunt you pulled. But hear me. Oh. I will save my brother. Oh. And I try. You know what tickles me about all this? Is what's really eating you up. You don't care that he's a demon. Heck, you've been a demon. We've all been demons. It's that he's with me, and he's having the time of his life. You can't stand the fact that he's mine. He's not your pet. My pet? He's my best friend. My partner in crime. I've written songs about us, graphic novels, the misadventures of Growly and Squirrel. Dean Winchester completes me. I'm going to save my brother, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to kill you, Dad. Wow. wow. That's the operative phrase, isn't it? Find you. Good luck with that. Woo! Oh! 
Oh boy. That was such a sassy call. <laughs> Woo! And emotions are running high. You hear about our brother who died. Does that surprise you? I can assure you. Had he just left us alone, no one would have been harmed. His orders were to not leave you alone. And you killed him. All of us serve at Heaven's command. I suppose. But that was before the fall, wasn't it? Oh! You are an angel. Once and forever. Dropped. Unwillingly. Into a strange land. A land that, as it turns out, celebrates the free. The individual. Oh, okay. For the first time in thousands of years, I have choices. This yeah. is nonsense. Because they don't teach you this in heaven? Perhaps they should. Then you would understand why it's worth fighting for. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. He's taunting us. And then what? We kill him? Or he kills us? There is time. To hear more of this? To convince him. To do the right thing. Besides, Hannah, oh, Cass. you'll have to stay for sunset. Nighttime around here is a revelation. You said those demons. Wow. To keep, if it wasn't for me throwing demon chum your way, what do you think would happen? The mark needs to be sated, otherwise... Otherwise I turn into a demon. Yeah. Yeah, I saw you got that six weeks ago. You lied. Who do you think you're talking to here? Just the tin man of a sheet metal, will you? Of course I lied. <laughs> okay. We've done extraordinary things to triplets all of which have been massively entertaining. I will treasure our flicker albums forever. But now it's <coughs> time for us to accept what we are and go back to one. The King of Hell. Dean Winchester by his side. Together we rule. Together we create the perfect hell. And all of this that's bloomed between us never ends. We're not ending wow. the party. We're just moving. How lovely. Oh, Did I forget to mention I spoke to Moose earlier? What? Yes, uh, apparently he's been tracking us for some time now. He got my text from the cell of that demon that you stabbed him. Blah, blah, blah. It was... Words were spoken. Emotions. Beatrice the girl. My bad. I guess he'll be here by morning. Hmm. The latest. He sold me out. Uh, what fun. Just lovely. Need some help? Uh, yeah, I think so. Just die on me. Out here? Yeah. Right there, there's your problem. What the hell is that? Well, that's a kill switch. This here's the remote. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. Guess you were right here. Okay. Oh boy. No, no, okay. Okay. Oh boy. Seeing you take on that, I was like, wow. No one's ever done that for me before. Then you kept going and going. And I realized whatever is going on with you has nothing to do with my honor at all. Oh, okay. I weigh tables at a roadhouse. I meet the bad guys, I meet the good guys. And maybe for a second there, I thought you were a good guy playing bad. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Maybe you're just- The kind of guy who sleeps with every skank and every small town dive that he passes through. Well, you really do know how to read people. Cause that sure as hell sounds like me. Okay, all right, lovely. I'm so screwed up myself. I'm gonna walk out of here thinking I actually deserve that. Oh, love. Oh. Oh my word. Whew. What wisdom is to be gained from humans? I'm not speaking to you. Oh! Do you understand what he's... Fine. He does. But if you were to be free, that is to be decided by all angels. We're not going back there. Oh! Hello. Not ever. This is Hannah and Castiel. Stow the blade, please. 
when she stows hers. Yeah. What are you doing? We will never get a chance to argue our freedom from the prison cell. We should have thought of that before slaughtering the Wow! Oh my! We're talking. We were getting somewhere. Okay, everybody. Just... You want to be free? Go ahead. Be free. Anna? Damn! No. Daniel! Hey! He's already not doing very well. We have to get her. She's gone. It's over. Wow. You're Sam Winchester. I think we both can agree on that. Your older brother Dean, well... He and I have to go way back. Your honor? Yeah, we can go with that. Hug your brother counts, right? Oh! I wouldn't do that. I don't know what you want or what my brother did. But if you got any sense, I suggest you turn tail and run back to that army recruiting ad that spit you out in the first place. He's a monster. No, well, he wants. Many, many moons ago. And now he's praying. And I'm the monster now. <laughs> Who is this gentleman being thrown into the mix? I go, don't we have enough going on? <laughs> oh my word, all right. He was going to kill me, Castillo. They just wanted to be left alone. Without rules, there's chaos. Out of chaos rise angels like Naomi, Bartholomew. Perhaps I've been down here with them for too long. They're seemingly nothing but chaos. Ugh. Not all bad comes from it. Hope, love, mm -hmm. dreams. Those are human things. Yes. Oh boy. Who is this? Me? Well, I'm Karma, brother. On my brother's phone. On your brother's phone. Is he dead? No. Not yet. As long as you show up where I tell you to show up, your brother will be just fine. How do I know he's still alive? But how is Dean gonna react to this? Proof of life. Dean! Somewhere down the road, I will find you. And I will kill you. Oh. Well, that'll be a cold comfort to your dead brother. I told him to let me go. So the jam he's in now, that is his problem. Oh, yeah, well, damn! I'm sure to pass that on to him as I'm I was curious. Story. And he knows damn sure that if I am one thing, I am a man of my word. Well. Wow. Huh. Oh! Oh! I thought there was going to be more to that. Okay. 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 Well. Well. <laughs> Quite a premiere. You know, I was quite curious at the beginning of the episode. I don't know if anybody the first time that they watched this had a similar um, kind of thought process, but I was trying to figure out in the first few scenes, like what Sam kind of already knew and what he was privy to and, and what kind of happened and, and everything like that. But I, you know, I feel like in time they, they gave all the answers. If not, I was gonna, I was gonna be like, guys, I, <laughs> I'm just curious, but, um, all right. Really interesting to see the dynamic between Dean and Crowley right now, I feel like that's still, you know, um, going to be explored more as these episodes go on. And, you know, especially in that last scene, I, I found it really, really interesting 
um, because genuinely I was like, how is Dean going to react to this? Like, I, I mean, I, I don't even think... Well, I don't know what I thought would happen, but I didn't think it would be the um, Dean we're used to, where if, you know, Sam's in danger, he is, you know, the, the first one there, and, you know, very, very protective of his brother, so it's just, it's, you know, jarring to see that kind of reaction to kind of say, well, Sam got himself in this mess, it's, it's all him, this, that, and the other thing. Um, but also, honestly, kind of expected given, uh, the, you know, how the situation that he is in, <laughs> I guess that's how I'm going to put it. I don't know. But, um, really, really interesting, um, to also see, I mean, it's very endearing to see Sam so heavily focused on trying to, um, get to Dean, you know, and, um, help him in whatever way that he can, especially given everything that happened in the last season, you know, um, and the, the distance between the brothers, which obviously I don't think has been completely, you know, rectified just yet, but it, it's still, um, you know, it, it's still lovely to see him be like, he's going to put all of his energy, all of his resources into finding Dean, um, whether or not Dean wants to be found or not. <laughs> you know what I mean, um, so that's really, um, nice to see. Uh, Okay, and and by the way, I feel like this is just gonna get messier and messier, messier and messier, um, especially with Crowley in the mix. You never know. You never know how this is gonna go. Um, okay, but something that honestly, what I found to be kind of the uh, shining part of this episode, or the, the part that I really, really liked was everything going on with um, Castiel and the angels. I thought it was really interesting. Um, when Hannah first showed up and uh, it was kind of like, you know, there are these angels and they refuse to go back to heaven. I, I mean, genuinely, my gut reaction was like, I, do, do you blame them after everything? <laughs> I don't mean to be rude, but you know what I mean? I, I, um, and then, you know, well, and it kind of says that, uh, they killed somebody that came after them and then it's like, okay, all right, sure. I, you know, um, I understand the, the motivation there, um, behind kind of Hannah and Castiel and everything like that. But I, I found it really fascinating, you know, and Castiel knows, um, very well what it's like. <laughs> First of all, he knows what it's like to be human, but he also understands, even without that experience, he also understands uh, relatability to humanity and an almost admiration for humanity and maybe even a yearning for uh, the way that humans live their lives and, and, and freedom and, and the independence that they have and everything like that. I really genuinely... Um, find all of that so, so, so fascinating. Um, and uh, I, I really loved that aspect of this episode a lot. I like that they're actually tapping into the, you know, uh, the angel's response to everything. And they didn't say, okay, everything's, uh, you know, everything's fine now, let's go back to heaven and everything's okay, woohoo! You know, like they really are actually um, getting into, you know, that it's a little more complicated than that, um, given everything that happened. I really, uh, liked diving into all of that. And it's not that I don't find <laughs> the other parts of the episode extremely fascinating. I really do. But I just, I, I, I like to see that. Um, I am still very worried for Castiel. I understand, you know, especially what he was saying to Hannah, kind of be like, what are we going to do? Like, kill another angel, take their grace just to make me better? Like, you know, like, what are we going to do? I do think that they will figure something out. Um, at least I hope they do. I, I really don't. I've lost a lot of characters on this show. And I, do not, I don't need Castiel to be added to that list. You know what I mean? Like, just give me a break for a second. <laughs> um, but, uh, 
So, so that's going to be really, really interesting. And I, the, I, I don't know who this gentleman is that has <laughs> Sam and what is going on there. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I said it in the reaction, but it's like we really, we don't have enough going on. We don't. We need this guy. We need this fucking guy. All right, great. Love that. Um, really interesting. I, I have to say this premiere for me was just it, really interesting. And I feel like it's just laying the groundwork for what we're going to get into uh, within the next few episodes or maybe the first half of this season or whatever. And I'm very, very excited to get into it. Um, it's going to be messy. And I, I have a feeling that it's it, it, specifically things between Dean and Sam are going to really pull on the heartstrings. But when doesn't it? You know, when when does that not happen in Supernatural? So, you know, anyway. All right, and um, I hope that you guys uh, <laughs> don't miss me too much when I go on my two-week break. But um, anyway, uh, I'm really, really excited to continue this after my break. Okay. Um, if you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe or subscribe, Okay, we're going to restart that. We're going to restart that. If you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you were here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.